you were present along with Jeffrey Williams, wherein hydrocodone, methamphetamines, and a firearm were recovered. These items did not belong to you. Yes, ma'am. So, you were with Young Thug when you had some drugs and guns in the car. Oh, and by the way, none of that shit was yours, right? <laughs> okay. Oh, who says it? Oh, I guess it must have been the other guy. <laughs> Fucking A. I recognize, accept, and deeply regret that my talent and music indirectly furthered YSL the game to the detriment of my community. YSL as a game must end. Is that your statement or acknowledgement? Yes. YSL is a gang must end. I deeply regret. First of all, that you don't need that for a plea. She wanted that for some reason. That's the prosecutor that's standing up talking right now. There's been a lot of talk in the Twitter sphere and the atmosphere and the cybersphere about whether or not Gunna is snitching. Well, they got a trial coming up. And now he just admitted in open court all these different things. Now, Gunna's lawyer, if you look on here, it says Gunna did not snitch to get out of jail. He has said nothing and is not cooperating. He just admitted in open court. His police statement cannot be used in court against any other defendant. Not true. So please stop spreading lies. Let's just break this down because people want to know if he's a snitch or not. I can honestly tell you that I don't know if he's snitching or not. His lawyer says he's not cooperating, but that's what he's going to say. You wouldn't have any document to show that he's cooperating. But can his statement be used against somebody else in their trial? Well, let's analyze that. Unless there's a specific agreement to not have that be used in another person's trial. It can be. Why can't it be? Because it's an admission against penal interest. That is not hearsay. Otherwise, it would be a hearsay statement. But when you make a statement under oath and you inculpate yourself, that means you, you point the finger at yourself that you did something wrong. That's a statement against interest. That is not hearsay and that absolutely can be used in a trial against Young Thug. Now, these are extremely serious charges. Kitchens was released from jail on Wednesday, that's yesterday, and his lawyer said his, he's been held without bail in advance of trial, which is supposed to start in January. This guilty plea was an important development in one of the two sprawling Atlantic criminal cases targeting a prosecutor say are a pair of feuding gangs that have committed dozens of shootings and other violent crimes since 2015. Further says that Kitchens entered an Alfred plea which allows defendants to maintain their innocence while pleading guilty. So here's the plea agreement. I agreed to perform 500 hours of community service, a substantial portion of which will require that I speak to young men and women about the hazards and the immorality of gangs and gang violence and the decay that it causes in our community. I agree that the community service locations shall be determined by the office, blah, blah, blah. I will possess no guns during the term of, of this sentence uh, or any time. And he got five years commuted down to one for time served. So he's out and doesn't have to do any more time. And then you have the acknowledgments in that, we, that we just saw. And if he violates the plea agreement, the district attorney can and will use the statement during any judicial proceedings. Any violation of this plea agreement shall result in full revocation of his suspended sentence. So he's got, five, I think, five years hanging over his head. So people are talking about whether he's a snitch or not. Whether he's a snitch or not, we won't know until Thug's trial. Actually, we might know just a little bit before that because my guess is that if he did snitch, the state would have to disclose that and disclose the, the witness's statement shortly before trial. But it isn't going to be much before trial because he would have a target on his back, no question in my mind, if he decides to snitch. But here's the other thing. Whether Gunna's a snitch or not, fuck that. Who cares? Because there's 20 other people or 27 other people who are charged in this indictment, right? And so I guarantee you they've got snitches that are going to be coming out of the woodwork.